So my daughter's third grade class spent the morning making this acorn flower. Uh, they're studying the Ohlone people which are, have been in this area for thousands of years. The part of the process that they did not do was actually leaching all the tannic acid out of the flower. So I volunteered to bring it home uh, and see if I can leach it. Now we're probably not going to end up eating this <laughs> because there were some acorns that had some mold and the kids weren't terribly careful about any of that. Um, but we are going to see if we see what it looks like to try to leach some of the tannic acid out and um, dry it out and then turn it into a paste. Now we're not at a creek and I could run it under the faucet but I figured this would be something similar to maybe what the original process would have been and I don't have a basket so I'm using a coffee filter. Whoa look at So what that. is that yellow stuff? So that's the tannic acid coming out of the flower. That's a lot. Yeah, so yeah. I imagine we'd have to do this a long time. Even just for like a piece, not the whole entire thing. It does look kind of gross. <laughs> Looks like sweet. So we'll do this for a while until it tries to run clear. And then I'll show you the result and, and um, the paste that comes out at the end. So we've been rinsing for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes now. Um, the meal, the acorn meal, is starting to kind of turn to a mush and the filter is getting clogged. But as you can see, um, the difference from when it started to now has, is pretty drastic, but it's still, still leaching a lot of tannic acid. So because we're not going to eat this, and you call this somewhat successful, I think I would have to transfer it to a new filter to kind of really run it clear. So now I think I'm going to transfer it to a pan and uh, boil it and see, see what happens. We have the acorn meal somewhat rinsed in a pan. As you can see there's all this black stuff. Um, probably not the part that we want to eat. But uh, I'm going to try to cook it up anyway and kind of see what happens to it. So I imagine they would have cooked it in, in a... A basket with a little bit of water, so I'm just going to add some water so it doesn't burn. Maybe like that. So let me get this to a boil and then we'll see what it turns into. So I believe this is the wrong cooking method. They would have put it in a basket with some some hot stones, I believe is what we were told. Also, as I drag this spatula across the bottom, that black stuff is in fact dirt. So there's a lot of like grit in this. Um, they would have done probably a much better job sifting it. But it is kind of thickening, thickening up. It almost feels like a like oatmeal or cream of wheat, something like that, or porridge. Kind of reminds me of pumpkin pie filling. So I'll let this simmer for a few more minutes, see what happens, and then I'll check back when it's, I think it's done. So I cooked it another 10-15 minutes. As you can see, it's gotten darker. It kind of looks like refried beans. I don't get the impression that it's going to solidify necessarily. It's just going to kind of turn, stay this mush and then probably just dry out and get flaky. Um, the smell is actually kind of an interesting smell. Believe it or not, it smells like acorn squash. A little bit net, more nutty version of that. I wonder if that's why acorn squash is called acorn squash. Not because of the way it looks, but because of the way it smells. Um... So yeah, I'm going to let this dry out and then see, or cool, I'm going to let it cool off and see if it dries out or if it does kind of stay sticky. Um, but an interesting experiment. I can see, you know, with some brown sugar, this might be, taste kind of good. I don't want to try it, but um, yeah, so it turns into this dark porridge. So here's what it looks like when it's kind of cooled off and dried out a bit. Um, 
I was kind of wrong. It's actually really sticky. And when you put it in your fingers, um, it almost feels like glue. So there's still chunks of it in it. We didn't grind it up that well. It, it feels like almost like half-hardened glue or somewhere between that and, and jello. Um, so I imagine this would stay clumped together like this and might last all day long um, without falling apart. Definitely is a thick porridge type of a substance. Very interesting. I'm very curious to see what it would taste like, um, but obviously we didn't do this right. So maybe someday I'll have the opportunity to eat food, food grade acorn porridge 